So when you're training your body and you're not training your energy frequency, you're not raising the energy in your body, it's like fixing a car to make it look good, but not caring about how it drives. Imagine if you're now, it's okay if your main goal is to have your car look good. You know, there's a lot of show cars out there, right? All show and no go. But if your intention is to go ahead and increase your ability to drive this car because you want to get to a place faster, then you got to worry about the engine. You got to worry about how this car runs. And the same thing when it happens to, to exercising and training our body. If we only care about looking good, then by God, man, just do whatever, <laughs> do whatever you want to to make it look good. But if you care about how your body operates, then you have to go ahead and increase the energy frequency in your body. Because the energy frequency, the higher it is, the higher performance our body can operate. The clearer our mind can think, the higher levels of consciousness we can operate at, the more, uh, the more creativity we have, the more expanded our mind becomes in our ability to understand information and everything else. So I was just training right now, and I just thought about this analogy, and I figured I'd share it with you guys to give another perspective, you know? Because... I came from the world to where I didn't really care so much about, I related performance to the way my body looked. Hey, my body's looking good. You know what? That's all it takes, and that's the only thing that's important. But as, as I started to become a little older and I started thinking about it, I realized, you know, there's other things that are actually really important in life, you know? And I started to connect the dots and realizing that it had to do with our energetic frequency in our body. The higher the frequency, the higher the vibrational frequency that's happening, the more shift we have in our consciousness, in our perspective, in our ability to take action, getting rid of fear, getting rid of all of these resistance that's stopping us from living a life that we actually want. So next time when you're training, just think about that, you know? If it's important for you, start making a transition and start doing what it takes to go ahead and increase the frequency in your body. And there's a lot of different methods to doing so, you know? My training practices is now geared around that, around moving energy around, getting the body to be less dense, making it lighter, physically making the body more loose and more calm and more relaxed instead of constantly being very tense and very tight, having the body have an increase in motion instead of having it to be very restricted, you know, things like that. So think about it. Thanks.